वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस न्यू वीडियो ऑन ए डब्ल्यू एस ई सी टू ई सी टू स्टैंड फॉर इलास्टिक कंप्यूट क्लाउड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दी हैंड्स ऑन पार्ट दैट वट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर लेट मी शो यू सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू वट इज ई सी टू इंस्टेंस बाई लॉगिंग इन टू ए डब्ल्यू एस कंसोल हाउ टू क्रिएट एन ई सी टू इंस्टेंस and how to connect to an ec2 instance all this we will be able to see in this video or i will cut down these three parts into a short three video series so that you can watch whenever you get time so what is an ec2 instance an ec2 instance is a virtual machine which can be a linux virtual machine as well as a windows machine right then all the flavors of uh, linux ubuntu M amazon machine right amazon linux machine all those things i will log in to aws console and show you i am assuming that you have aws account in case you don't have aws free account free tier account with you which gives 12 months free access you can see my another video to know to how to get create AWS free account that will help you to get started with the AWS journey. There are lot of things to know about AWS or any cloud provider. The concepts will remain same. The steps to follow on AWS might differ from in Azure or in Google Cloud pla platform, right? But the underlying concepts will remain same. Virtual machine is called EC2 instance. in aws so let us log in to our aws console if you see i have logged into aws console and you can see that i have used the iam user with which i can log into this account this is the same user which i have created during my previous video on aws free tier account creation so let me go to ec2 i can type ec2 on the top left search box i can also bookmark this so that it will be available here so i can click on ec2 it will take me to the ec2 dashboard right now i am into new experience of aws ec2 or aws console and please note that this is the region in which region you are going to create your ec2 instance this reflects that so across world there are many regions of aws where aws physical infrastructure is present data centers are present from where you are going to create this ec2 virtual machine so i am going to use north virginia only so you can close uh, you can choose any one of these regions or wherever you want to or deploy your applications right so those that location should be closer to your users end users right or it can be multiple regions also for now let us not bother about that let us talk about how can we create an instance if you see here here on the launch instance i can create launch instance and if you see here amazon linux ami machine different configurations are there there are many combination and there are many steps here choose ami instance type we will go through all these one by one and for now at least for this video we are going to consider only default values whatever default values uh, we have been given by this aws console except couple of things we will uh, change so let me warn you one more time that you have to select any machine which is free tier eligible here or you can check this box to see that which free tier images are available in case you have sufficient balance in your aws account you can choose any of the images based upon your budget otherwise you are suggested to go with any of these free tier eligible instances so if you see here it is amazon machine image or i will select let us say i will search ubuntu
so this is ubuntu server free tier eligible right i will select from here it is loading again please note that family that there are different families of it that uh, this family represents that uh, the purpose of this particular ec2 instance right for it now let us not bother about this as well you only have to focus on this part free tier eligible right next you can directly click review and launch or you can go to configure instance detail configure instance detail again number of instances we need one right request spot instance let us not bother about that network subnet nothing and storage again how much storage i want i will keep it 8 gb and it is root volume what type of volume type it is right and then iops input output of per second delete on termination right this volume i want to delete or i can uncheck this also tags security group review and launch again this is a new security group you can give any name but for now just for learning purpose let us review and launch this is the configuration and if you see aws is giving me warning also that my instance is not as secured as it should be right so for now it is just for demo purpose i am going to delete this after recording this video so i am not bothered about that same way you also should delete or stop this instance once you have practiced otherwise your aws cost will be on the higher side and you will uh, repent afterwards so i am going to launch it one more thing is choose an existing key pair in order to connect to this ec2 instance later you will need a key pair right so click on create a new key pair give this a name let us say i want to give, give a name demo video you can click you can give it any name download key pair right and please uh, save this somewhere right launch instances this step is very critical if you have lost this key pair you won't be able to connect to this ec2 instance so please keep this safe and also one more thing the file which you have downloaded it is in the .pem file so if you are using the, your windows machine to connect to this ec2 instance i will let you know that which software do you need to connect to this ec2 instance as well as how to use that .pem file also so for now i am going to launch an instance it says that your instance are now launching let me go here again ec2 dashboard i have come again here and it is saying that pending instance state is pending from here you can refresh it and see the status it will take couple of minutes then it will show now if you see here it is it is in the running state now now how to stop it you can select this ec2 instance go there instance state and stop it or reboot or terminate please note that it should not be in the running state all the time until and unless it is running a critical application like web application server is running on this right but for the learning purpose you must stop it or if you don't want to terminate it you must stop it a stopped instance does not incur any charge on the bottom side if you see here you can see all the details public ip address note down this public address this we will use to connect to our ec2 instance and you can name it also that demo video from here save so this way you will be able to recognize this now let me show you that how to connect to this from within aws console you can click 
connect here username is ubuntu connect it is loading this ec2 instance from the aws console here and please note that in case you are going to choose ubuntu the default username is ubuntu in case you are going to use some other machine other linux machine then username will be ec2 hyphen user that i will display in this screen also or mention in the description section of this video as well in case you find any difficulty please don't hesitate to put your comments in the comment section of this video so that i can answer your question right so i don't want you to face any difficulty in this so this is how let me just go there and see ls l right and i can clear this and now if i want to see pwd right make directory test make directory test one ls l right all these commands i can do vi test or vi first file it will open a vi editor insert this is test file you can save it by pressing escape colon wq enter get out of it clear and ls hyphen l for listing of files you can see that cat first file and it will show me the content of this file so this is how we can connect to an ec2 instance from within aws console right you can connect to it i will tell you in the next video that how to convert that dot pem file or how to use that dot pem file to connect to this ec2 instance from your desktop whether you are using unix machine whether you are using linux machine or as a desktop or you are using windows operating system right that i will tell you in the next video for now i think it is sufficient to let you explore aws on your own at least ec2 part and please don't forget to stop it right now i am stopping it right because we want to connect to it again and one more thing that don't lose that dot pem file we will be using it throughout our videos or throughout our aws training through which we are going to cover many topics right so please be with me i hope you have liked this video and you will stay tuned to my channel please like subscribe and share this video as much as you can looking forward for your comments and feedback also so as always thank you so much see you in next video